show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, it is another fortnight full of action and news and thrills and spills. Indeed it is. Lots, Lots of things sl going on. Sliding Mario Karts and... <laughs> <laughs> and an N64 that could have gone either way. It could have done, and if you've seen it, I'm sure you know which way it's gone. Yes. I'm very sorry to everyone for currently being 2 nil down. <laughs> yes, spoilers, <laughs> it went well if you're me. Exactly. If I want to do anything, I need to pull off a great comeback. Yeah. Yeah, what... Yeah. <laughs> Not quite to the, the scale of Newcastle Arsenal, but we'll see. 4-4. Mm. Oh, great game. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> I only need one more anyway, and it's done, so... Yeah, I know, that's that's what worries me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's actually Newcastle Arsenal this... Well, last Saturday on the 10th. Is that the first game of the season? Yeah. Hmm. It's... A, a, well, what I mean is it's already been on, so yeah. I, should, I congratulate you on your eight... Two victories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch us lose one nil. Yeah. Oh well. Yes. Why oh, are we right. recording this one in advance, sir? That would be sorry. I just got distracted genuinely by about I'm going to say near on two hundred Swifts or Starlings just flew past my window in formation. Sorry. What? Uh, Suzuki <laughs> that was incredible. Swifts. Yeah. Well, yeah. Loads <laughs> of them. It was a rally. All throwing <laughs> banana skins at each other. Uh, anyway, yes. No, um, I'm. Yeah. Well, I'm actually. We're recording this on the 7th of August. I'm saying that... I know we always joke that we record it in advance, but the date that we're recording actually has some relevance to what I'm going to be talking about later. So oh, it's that's the, point, it's the, yes. Yeah, it's the 7th of August in the world. I'm off to Cornwall in a couple of days. Yes, and then we kind of cross paths, don't we? As you come back from Cornwall, I go off to France. Exactly, yeah. So, So we're never in the same place to record for the next couple of weeks. No, no. So let's get it in early. Hence why this podcast is genuinely about sort of 10 or 11 days in the recording life early. But Indeed. never mind, doesn't matter. So everything we're going to be talking about is probably already out of date and irrelevant. Exactly. Oh, yes. okay. We know what we're doing. Yes. Exactly. I'll be talking about gaming news, which I'm sure will be eclipsed by something else in the next week and a half, but we'll see. And I will be talking about gaming news, which probably won't be yet... Because but, my game is out after yours, so mine might stay a bit more relevant for longer. Ah, okay then. I Which think with my game, be. we're entering the, um, what footballers may say, the corridor of uncertainty. We're um, <laughs> entering the time period now where um, the little trailer... Because Pokemon Company and Game Freak do this thing where they mirror the game release date, their trailers and little information videos for the game, become more and more frequent. Ah, uh, right. So with Sun and Moon, they were doing like one, literally doing about one a week, revealing two or three new Pokemon, which was, which oh, was okay. fun. But then when the game came out, you're like, oh, well, I know what they all are now. There's no surprises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They kind of did that with Metal Gear Solid Five. They went, you know all the cutscenes in this game? Well, we're going to put them in various different trailers in a slightly yeah. different order. And then you play the game, you're like, oh... Well, I, I, I've already played this game or seen it in trailer form. Yeah, it's one of those that, are like, equally, I love that the videos are coming out and I will separate myself and go and watch them and be like, this is amazing. But, <laughs> and then, on the other hand, when it gets to the game release, being like, oh, well, I, I know these exist and I know what Pokemon I want to use. Yeah. I'm not going to come across them normally, like you are with probably most of the generation two to seven Pokemon. <laughs> Well, honest. I will, yeah. Anything that's in it is brand new to me. And you'll yeah. be like, yeah, we've had that game for about ten years. I'll be like, no, it, uh, that Pokemon, rather, for ten years. I'll be like, no, it's new to me. <laughs> if anything, you'll know more about Pokemon that haven't been released yet than ones that have been around for nearly 20 years. Because, mm. yeah, not saying you yeah. religiously watch the trailers, but you've probably seen some form of trailers. Yeah. So you probably know more about some of the newer ones than the ones that came out in Generation 2 back in, like, 99, 2000. Well, I don't know anything about them, really. Exactly. That's just see, it's, it's At that's all. what's that's the magic of Pokemon. I'm hoping this will be my gateway into the older versions. Yeah. My only worry is a lack of handheld Nintendo 
consoles. So right. can they just remaster all of them for the Switch, please? That would be nice. That would, that be, would be very be. convenient for me. They've re- Yeah, they remastered Generation 1 and 2 for 3DS, so surely they can do the same sort of thing yeah. for, the, uh, yeah, for the Switch. Surely. Yeah, we don't need rebuilds like Let's Go, just literally clean it up a bit. Yeah. Exactly. Clean it up a bit, stick it on the eStore for some money. Yeah, oh, well, and, the Gen and 1 and 2 games are only £9, eight ninety nine. That will do, yep. yeah. I'll pay that for each one. Well, yeah, for the okay. first sort of three or four, and then I guess they'll get a bit more expensive as they get newer with Quite more possibly. features. But yeah, I'd, I'd pay that. Quite possibly, but oh well. Have you? Yeah, uh, yes. Anyway, do, uh, away from the news, what game have you actually been playing lately? Well, it's sort of games. Oh, okay. Um, one of them, if you have watched, which you haven't at the moment because I haven't finished editing it, but has been released, my hidden gems for this month, um, where I talk about Dreamfall The Longest Journey, I am playing the sequel to that, Dreamfall Chapters, still on the PlayStation 4, which is very nice to finally be getting a resolution to that story. (laughs) Did they leave it in the air then? Um, well, yeah, the the second game was left on a, a cliffhanger, and then the I'm not entirely sure what happened to the studio, but they required a lot of crowdfunding um, oh, okay. and kind of uh, almost a rebuild of, of things in order to get the project back up and running again. Um, that sort of sounds like Dead Island 2. Yeah. That was a the thing. They had a trailer, and then the game developers sort of... I don't know. I don't even know what happened really. Just sort of went out of, went out of love with something, or had an argument, or whatever. And now another game developers picked it up. Mm. Well, I think that's what the this is kind of. Whether I think possibly the studio got bought out, but then they were allowed to work on the old IP that technically they didn't own anymore. Right. Okay. So there was some good relation there, thankfully. Yeah. Um. But yeah, playing through that at the moment, which is very nice, it's a nice kind of point-and-click style, like Broken Sword type game, with some yeah. kind of puzzles in it, and having to combine items together and find out who certain characters are, and it's all very kind of story and character driven, which is very me. That sounds alright. Um, and when I'm not doing that, I'm, well, kind of tinkering about with No Man's Sky really because that's all had loads of updates and I um, haven't played it really since it was in its original build so it's very different for me now (laughs) but yeah that's that's always good fun just kind of roaming around and it's actually got a story mode now which is nice (laughs) do we (laughs) yeah so yes all, all, all good if it's story based if it's character based I will play it fair enough what that about yourself? Um, well, as of 7th of August, I've just been playing through Pokemon White, actually, on the DS, mm-hmm. but on playing it on my 3DS. Uh, yeah, the black and white games were, um, when they introduced, I think, 100 and, uh, 157 or 162 or something like that, new Pokemon for Generation 5, but you you couldn't use any other Pokemon, just Generation 5 Pokemon. That's all that was in the game. Oh, right. So okay. it's entirely Generation 5. So I thought I'd give that another go. Oh, okay. So were the ones before one, like, Generation 4, could you use all one to four Pokemon then? Yeah. Not all of them, but they were... You a know, lot of them. Were, yeah, a lot of them, yeah. Oh, right. Very much so. Yeah, but um, Black and White... They did Black and White 2 where you could use others, but for Black and White... It was just, just Generation Five. Mm, I bet that was polarizing at the time. Yeah, I think it was actually. It, um, yeah, it. I ducked out at Generation Three because I'd become a teenager and Pokemon wasn't cool. It wasn't, no. No, no and uh, yeah. Cool. So for the DS generation, Generation Four and Five, I just completely overlooked, and then came back in Generation Six with the 3DS when I became like a young twenty-three-year-old, got a proper job, and could actually buy stuff. And then they were still not cool, but you didn't care. Oh, I didn't care then, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I occasionally go back to Gen 4 and 5 games just to get reacquainted with... Not reacquainted, just to acquaint myself with them. Yeah. 
be honest, I can't get on with Generation 4 game. Well, Diamond Pearl, I just can't get on with them. They're very slow. Oh, but, right. Yeah, but Black and White have their charm, and I quite like them. So I'm going, I'm going through White. Cool. And I'd recommend it. <laughs> well, I don't have a DS or a 3DS, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. They need to put that one on the eStore for yeah. me on the oh, Switch. That would Perfect be great. example. That would genuinely be great. Yeah, do it, Nintendo. I know you're listening to this podcast. <laughs> do, do it. it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Speaking of Nintendo... Well, yes. Speaking of Game Freak and game developers, yes, I oh, I've got nothing to bring to the table. No, I'm uh, I'm joking. <laughs> nothing no, of, of note has happened. No, seventh um, of August, Wednesday, uh, two p.m. UK time. We got another trailer for Sword and Shield. A two-minute trailer, at least. Mm-hmm. Japan obviously got longer trailer, three minutes, which is. What? Yeah, they always get longer trailers with more detail. It's annoying. Do you watch them anyway? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then just don't understand what they're saying. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And just look at the. I watch the English one, then watch the Japanese, just for that little bit more experience. Extra visuals. Yeah. But in this trailer, we got some more information. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Obviously, as you always would. They wouldn't bring. Yeah. Anyway, um, you would hope. And so. we got um, we got a couple of new Pokemon and confirmation that regional forms are back. Aha! Which is great. I'm very happy with that. So they did regional is... forms for Alola. So this is kind of a Pokemon that you know done slightly differently because they're in this area. Yes, they've. Adapted and evolved to live in that specific area. Right. So, for example, a lowland in um, oh, of course, a lowland executor is basically just got a massively long neck, and it's like a palm tree. Oh, but okay. it's done that to to, to um, uh, better live in the Alola region, which is based off of Hawaii. Ah, uh, that makes sense. And things like that, etc. Won't go into it. Uh, okay. But we we got. I don't know how to say the word, but I'm gonna. It's the Gala region. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna say Galarian form, or it could be a Galarian form. But I think Galarian form. Galarian sort of makes more yeah. sense. It sounds more like a word. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Galarian for now. Galarian form of wheezing, which I am so happy with. <laughs> okay. It's it's uh, like what well, for example when a Lowland Executor was released. It was one of those that was like, this is just mental. <laughs> because it's just an executor, but its neck is genuinely about 12 foot long. And you think, this is just crazy. But you sort of laugh and you're like, this is mad. Not like, that's a bad idea. You just think, this is just, what the hell is going on? What were they smoking when yeah. they thought that was an idea? Yeah. And then Galarian Wheezing comes along. Is it worth putting a picture up? Yeah. Okay, let's put one up now. Here you go. <laughs> If you're able to look at the screen, there you go, look at that. Basically, I've shown you this already, so I won't send a picture. No, <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about, but I, yeah. Yeah, I just thought, just in case people weren't exactly. uh, aware. Yeah, but basically we've got... Um, Gala is based off the UK, and this wheezing has um, developed... A hybrid of a top hat and power plant tower sort of thing. And coming out of that is plumes of smoke. And some of that smoke is forming round its sort of mouth area in a moustache. So with this <laughs> seemingly top hat and moustache, it genuinely looks like a proper look, like old Victorian sort of businessman type thing, you know. Yep. And I think it's just... Uh, uh, it's the right level of insane that I think is absolutely brilliant. He's just missing a walking cane and a monocle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't quite know what makes this a fairy type as well. But oh, is it a fairy type? It's a poison fairy. I have absolutely no idea Surely how. it's a dark poison. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought so. That would make more sense. Yeah, I'm glad it kept the poison typing, I thank God for that. If it was just pure fairy, I'd be like, what on earth are you talking about? Well, no, it'd have to be poison with big old blooming, like, exhaust vents on the top of its head. 
Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah. But I'm absolutely loving that. Um, and to me, that basically says there's going to be other um, other Galarian forms. We also saw another two. Uh, the Pokemon you don't know yet, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon and a Galarian Linoon. I won't put them up on the screen because I won't be talking about that in much detail at the moment. Mm-hmm. But it's it, surely this says to me they're going to be doing other Galarian forms. Yes. They must be. You would, just... you would assume so. They're not going to just pick one or two, are they? There's going to be a, a, a couple of dozen, you would hope. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Zigzagoon and Linoon... Uh, our generation three. Uh, we've only had generation one Alolan forms, and Weezing was a generation one Pokemon as well. So the Zigzagoon and Linoon were the first non-gen one regional variants. Okay. So we might get regional variants of Pokemon that aren't gen one. Although I reckon a lot of them will be gen one. Probably, I think, mainly to capitalise on the popularity of Let's Go and players like myself, that. <laughs> probably only know the first one or two generations and then kind of didn't come back like you did after generation five exactly yeah so there's that to come Hmm. i think anyway we also got introduced to another new pokemon which i'm going to send to you now because i didn't show you this one it's sending this wonders of the internet everyone (laughs) Talk amongst, your, yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, uh, yes, I did see... I think I saw this on a trailer, actually, earlier. Yeah, yeah, you would have seen that on today's trailer. More pe- more Pico. More Pico? Yes. Yeah. That's definitely just the Japanese name. They haven't translated that to anything else. No. But, yeah, um, what I want to talk about with more, more, more Pico, more Pico... More Pico, let's call him that. Sod it. Are we putting um, that one up as well, presumably? Yeah, I'll put it up around now so that people are familiar with it. Um, but it's it's an electric dark type, which is fine. It's okay. got two forms. Full belly mode, which is the cute little yellow mode there. Although, I don't know how this is going to work in the game, but it's also got the greatest name for a form which is a hangry mode <laughs> which is fantastic never thought Game Freak would use a move like that but yep yeah, it's called hangry mode um, yeah and I'm assuming when it's hungry it turns into this evil looking Pokemon which is fantastic hmm. and yeah it's it's got a signature move which I can't remember the name of but basically it spins in a wheel, sort of like a hamster does. I think it is going to be based off of a hamster by the look of it. It looks very hamsterish. Yeah, but it's got a signature move where it runs in a circle and attacks with a circle of energy. Um, if you're in full body mode, it's an electric type attack. If you're in hangry mode, it's a dark type attack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, it's just... That's just in, it, it looks incredible. I'm trying to look here actually. I'm looking at the picture we've got up. On the full body mode, does it look like its right arm is sort of like tucked into a like tucked into itself, like kind, a pocket? Kind of. Or is that? Or just is it just because the off? left arm is being stuck out and holding something that it looks bigger? Yeah. Is that just where its arms cut off? Yeah, is that just the sure. end of its it arm? It just happens to finish where the actual stripe of its colour of its body is. Yeah. See, looking at that as well, that doesn't... Presumably it's not an evolution, because no. the arrow suggests that you can swap out one version to the other version. Yeah, Presumably it's the same Pokemon, due to, yeah. I don't know, time of day, or environment, or with an item, or something. Yeah. That's what I mean. I don't quite know how it's going to work with the in-game mechanics. Hmm. There's nothing on the website, and there was nothing in the trailer to let us know what was happening. Be interesting, though. Yeah. There were a few other points, like we were introduced to the evil team of the region and a couple of other characters, but I haven't looked into them in much detail, and they weren't as impactful as I thought they'd be, so I'm, I will overlook those at the moment. OK, OK. Just for the moment. But yeah, no, I just mainly wanted to talk about the Galarian wheezing, um, Morpico, and future, future Galarian forms. Dibs on 
a meowth with sort of a tweed jacket or a waistcoat or a cravat and maybe that gets the monocle and like a pipe yeah well we've already got an alola meowth so that's <laughs> oh have we oh. yeah yeah it's oh. uh yeah we've already got an alolan meowth so have I'm we got an alolan others. wheezing no so we probably won't i'm guessing all the alolan versions we probably yeah. won't get galarian ones probably not no Oh, and it. all the Gen 1 Pokemon we've seen already likely won't be Galarian forms. Because I'm going to have to go back on um, <laughs> on the trailers and, ha- and cancel out any I've already seen. Oh, things like Charizard and Pikachu. Yeah, that we've, we've already seen, Charizard, seen in all the tra- yeah, exactly. older trailers. I see, exactly and Onyx. Right, yeah. Yes, uh, exactly. And no, then it's Evolution Steelix didn't have a Galarian form either. Yeah. So. Okay. I assume you can use the non-Galarian forms in the game. However, yeah. However, it would we'll, be pointless to just see a non-Galarian in the wild. That wouldn't make any in-game sense whatsoever. That's true, actually. Yeah, maybe there'll be trades in the game. Or... Yeah. Trainer yeah. battles probably could have the normal types of it. Not normal type. That's the, <laughs> the, the original type. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because yeah, they did that in a load of form. They had... Um, in Alola, they had like, say, Alola Meowth, for example, they had that native to the region, but they were trainer classes called Tourists, and the Tourists had the original Meowth. So you I can only see. assume, yeah, yes. you can only assume they came from Kanto. Because they're, they're not, yeah, because they're yeah. tourists to that region, they got exactly. their Pokemon not in that region, therefore they're yeah. not going to have an Alolan version of that Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Got you. Or they may just not program the normal the regular versions in i don't know who knows well they must program them in some way because we well unless i was going to say we've seen them in the trailer i mean they might just be model swaps but it's difficult to do that with an actual fight that we've seen yeah. where we actually saw moves being used so it's exactly. it's not like they've just used a figure and swapped it out for another one so exactly mm. we shall see anyway we shall see okay I am going to probably do a video of the of my top ten Galarian form hopes. Oh, okay. I've already started to note down a few that I think would be great and what they would look like. I haven't tried to draw them because I'm awful at art, like genuinely terrible. Idea. Yeah. Print off a picture of the original version. Yeah. And then just draw over it. Yeah, draw a monocle on it or a. <laughs> yeah. Or a bow tie. Bow ties yeah. are cool. <laughs> just just do that yeah sorted there you go that's what I'll do that's for the, well, that's effectively all they've done with wheezing yeah he is really Ch- yeah. change just the colour type hat. slightly yeah I can do that they did it with Rattata as well put it up on its hind legs give it a moustache done yeah yep, that's literally it make it black not purple yeah done I, I quite like Alolan Rattata I think that's pretty cool I like Alolan Rattata I don't like Alolan Raticate oh that's ridiculous yeah I hate that yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's, a, no, that's a conversation for another day. Indeed. That's a conversation for a place where we're allowed to swear. <laughs> at what, like, at work? Yes, at work. <laughs> yeah, at the screen, whenever it's on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, no, I'll wrap my wrap my segment up there while I, in my head, think of other Galarian forms we could have. But, um, yeah. S- sounds like a, a project for while you're on holiday. Yes, indeed, I will be thinking about that. Nice. Something for when I get back. It's annoying that I'm going to holiday during the hype of the new Galarian form release because I think from you know in about two three days time when I leave is when we're going to start getting the videos through from everyone around the world of Galarian forms I want to see so I'm going to be oh, a bit late. I on the see update. you're going to be kind of behind the well. Never. Cancel your holiday yeah. and release a video instead. There yeah. we go. I'm sure <laughs> sure my other half won't mind. Yeah, she'll be fine with that probably. Oh, she'll well. just go without you. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's me done. I'll stop there. Okie dokie. And I'll hand over to your gaming chat. Yes, I have gaming news as well. Gaming have you news. ever heard of a thing called wrestling? Is it that... Um, yeah, hmm. <laughs> well, there's a, Pokemon, there's a wrestling Pokemon that is classed as the heel Pokemon, so there you go, and it's a dark type. So. Is there? What's that? <laughs> um, Incineroar. Oh, okay. That's yeah, nice. it's a dark, dark fire type, and it's classified as the heel Pokemon. 
Ah. And it's got a signature move which creates a wrestling ring and it body slams someone. Anyway. Fair enough. Okay. There you go. So <laughs> That's your so, Pokemon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have heard of the wrestling and have yeah. you ever heard of video games? I've I've come across them before. Ah, well, it might interest you to know that there are such things as video games based upon wrestling. Right, okay. I and yeah, okay. Yeah, news, huh? And they're doing what they do every single year and releasing a WWE 2K game, this time called 2K20. Because like the FIFA games, they have to release it at the end of one year, but call it after the year after for, you know, reasons. <laughs> Just to confuse everyone. Okay. But they've actually made some significant changes this year. Oh, okay. What have they done? One of those things that they've done is women. Women are in there now. Well, they've well, <laughs> women have always been there as playable characters. Or I say always, definitely for the past sort of twenty odd years, they have been at least in some form. But people have been crying out for a number of years now for um kind of a story mode because there's usually some kind of story mode within these games but one that focuses in on females right okay and finally there is one there's a dual <laughs> my player career mode where you create your own wrestler right yeah. and you take them on a journey through various different um, scenarios and obviously storylines and matches and yeah. rivalries and whatnot. And every single time, it's always there are some women in there that you interact with, but all the time you are a bloke. Oh, okay. <laughs> and apparently, women watch wrestling as well. No way. Uh, yes, I am being facetious for anyone that can't hear the uh, the irony. And sarcasm in my voice. Because, <laughs> to be honest, it would be quite nice to actually experience that side of it from a male perspective as well. And not just in a weird, pervy way. Yeah. Because genuinely, end of 2018, beginning of 2019, I was so invested in the women's division and didn't give a toss about the men's side of things because it just wasn't being handled properly. Was that a viewpoint shared by others as well? It seemed to be, yeah. It seemed to be quite a, a popular view of things. And especially with WWE trying to kind of push this idea of we're promoting women's matches now as well. Aren't we good that these women are finally getting a chance to actually perform properly in meaningful storylines and in decent matches? And we're like, well, yeah, but you were the ones holding them down beforehand. That wasn't through their own choice, you <laughs> dum-dums. So not only are we getting uh, women in the story mode, but a few years ago, where are we? F sort of five years ago, um, NXT, which is the kind of... A mini brand, almost like a practice brand, a development brand that WWE has... Yeah. Um, four women emerged there um, that were called the Four Horse Women oh, as okay. a collective group. They were they they kind of paved the way, if you like, to use their own horrible verbiage um, of putting on proper matches, not just kind of two minute couple of moves, end finish. But they were actually putting on compelling matches proper storylines, proper rivalries, not just two people calling each other a skank or going, you look ugly. No, you look ugly, which seriously was what the storylines used to be about, wow, which was okay. really depressing to because, watch. Yeah, because only because women only care about looks, don't they, and how they, it, how they look, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. want to look pretty all the time. And who is on what cover of what magazine and, yeah... Who's yes. dating? That was one as well. Who's dating another wrestler? Oh, oh no, I don't choice. like you because you're dating him and I like him and now we're going to have a really crap fight. It's not yeah. Love Island, it's WWE. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's that's kind of what it was, unfortunately. But thankfully, that they were kind of seen by the powers that be in this developmental brand as a legitimate asset and they essentially kind of helped change the perception with other people as well, admittedly, but a lot of the focus was on the four of them 
um, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. Two of which were in the main event of WrestleMania this year with Ronda Rousey. Right. Becky and Charlotte. And they're, what they do is they do a showcase mode in these games where you kind of follow a section of a certain superstar or superstar's career. Okay. And they're focusing it on the four of them. Oh, right. Oh, that's so good. from their kind of beginnings in NXT to kind of being a success there and, and coming up and performing on weekly television to a live audience all the way up. I presume it will end with that WrestleMania main event, I'm okay. guessing. That would um, be pretty interesting. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Most of the rest of the game, unfortunately, looks like a copy and paste of last year. It needs a new engine. It needs yeah. kind of a bit of a, a an update. Most sports games are like that, though, aren't they? Yeah. That is the only issue with a, we release this game at this time every single year. Yeah. It kind of becomes a bit of a copy and paste thing. But these additions are very, very welcome, and I very much look forward to playing through them and enjoying them. Um, just just really for the for the difference of it. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be different, especially if they're going to be focusing storylines... In a way they've never done before, but should have done. Yes, yeah. Or kayfabes, whatever you want to call them. I'm trying yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does sound like it's going to actually. Yeah, do you think that means it will ship a few more copies as well? Um, I reckon it probably will help. Yes, they've got Becky as one of the stars on the cover of the game as well. Ah, brilliant. Um, okay. a lot. Of, there was actually a lot of fallout with this actually because two actually is there in one sentence. Well done. Um, it was thought that she probably should be on the cover on her own. Right. And okay, she's yeah. been lumped in with a bloke. Right, okay. Um, but, nah. Yeah, that, I mean, that, I guess. that's fine. Yeah. Whatever, that that would be all right. At least yeah. she's there for a start. Yeah, I mean, the, the only time women have really kind of featured on the cover of these games is when there's been kind of group shots or various other smaller... Like, they'll have a focal character in the middle, and then yeah. they'll have a couple of kind of smaller ones maybe around the edges, and one of them has sometimes been a woman. Oh, dear. dear. But, but actually, as the kind of main front and centre, like, yeah. kind of focal point, this is the first time, at least in, in my memory, that there's been one. Um, I'm sure people can kind of shoot me down in the comments section and say, <laughs> oh, no, actually, it, there was this game with this person on it. Excuse um, me. And if that is the case, then fine, but I can't think of one. No, fair enough. So, yes. Well, that is kind yeah. of the, bi the big news, is women. <laughs> women exist in the women world of wrestling. Do, no way. Yeah, women do the, the, the wrestles. <laughs> Do you think this will then encourage women to buy rest like wrestle games that were into wrestling but may not have bought them before? Um, I don't know. I mean, the the the, the most wrestling fans are geeks, right? Okay. Yeah. So they're probably into gaming anyway. Yeah. I think it will be nice that they're actually kind of being represented finally. Yeah. I don't know if this will kind of. Maybe it will for a younger audience. Okay. But certainly people in our age bracket, I think if they were going to buy the game, they were probably going to buy the game anyway, regardless of what was in the game or who's on the cover of the box. Yeah. But that's no reason to not do it. Yeah. Really. Just because, oh, well, it was going to get bought by women anyway, so we'll just keep on having men on it and focusing in on men. Nah, nuts to it. Let's yeah. shake things up a bit do it anyway i'll enjoy it and i'm definitely probably not a woman <laughs> you've you've had the test you're fine yep. yep it came back positive for being man it said you are positively definitely probably a bloke yes yeah they're getting very technical now these uh, doctor evaluations <laughs> <laughs> definitely probably indeed. indeed but as a kind of very quick side piece as well um, the 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 kind of two companies involved with this game, 2K, who basically um, 
kind of publish it, but the actual developers of it, Ukes, are seemingly moving away from their partnership with 2K okay. after this game because of the whole copy and paste scenario. They're yeah. wanting uh, to kind of release fun, decent, impactful games again, which they feel they haven't done for many, many years. So this time next year, we might be talking about a very kind of different game, which will be quite nice. Okay. With a new engine and, and really feeling like a brand new game. But I'll take this as a kind of sh- small stepping stone. Yeah. No, it sounds like it's a progressive move. Hmm. Finally. It sounds like one that probably should have happened a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, probably like t- t- 20 odd years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when they nice. were coming into prominence as a mm. kind of piece of legitimate media that got sold to the masses. <laughs> but we got there in the end. Oh. It's only nearly 2020. What it's more do you want, how world? It can take that long. Yeah, well, this is a company that deals with Saudi Arabia. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that one at that. Indeed, yes. Oh, okay, then. well, I have learned something today. You've learned women. I've learned that women exist. Yep. What have I been doing? <laughs> it's true, everyone. Women. I thought it was just men that did stuff. But women do the same stuff. Mind blown. They don't just buy handbags and shoes. <laughs> no, no. no, I was going to make a joke then, I won't. <laughs> no, they don't just buy handbags and Again. shoes, they buy normal things too. Exactly. Again, I am being uber facetious for oh, anyone course, that yeah. cannot hear the sarcasm in my voice. <laughs> yes, we are a very sarcastic pair, it's fine. Indeed. All yes. Right. Well, I shall remember that then. <laughs> I'll have a look at that if I ever see it advertised, and I'll bear that in mind. Mm. Well, I might do some gameplay on the old Chanel yeah, go in for the it. future. Yeah, go for it. Got to wait not, until October the not? October the twenty second, I believe it's out. Oh really? I've got to wait yes. till November fifteenth. Oh yeah. Yeah. Climb. So you've got yeah. So I see. I've had to wait until now to talk <laughs> about a game that's coming out before your game. <laughs> exactly. Damn it. Oh, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> you can hurry up quick. Yes. Nice. Hurry already up, shrimp. Got, yeah. Already got hurry. the day booked off work. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Exactly. I don't have that luxury as I've got no more holiday days. We. I've got <laughs> like three. Maybe I'll just book the whole week off after. <laughs> Good call. Oh, well, yeah. Well, on that note then, on the note that Pokemon's out and women exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I shall call that day. Lovely. Right, well, until the next time then, I believe. Yes, enjoy slash hope you enjoyed your week away. Yes, I'm sure it was slash is slash will be slash was whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Drizzly but lovely. Nah, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be, be alright. <laughs> alright then, well I shall see you later. Bye bye. Goodbye all. <laughs>